Hey, I'm Ronnie with AutoZone, and I'm in the garage with a blown radiator hose. I'm gonna walk you through what to do and how to replace one. Let's get started. The radiator hose is an important part of your car that transports antifreeze to and from the radiator, where it cools the engine. If your engine is constantly overheating, your coolant is always low, or if you notice antifreeze leaking under your car, you probably have a broken radiator hose. Here, we only need to replace the upper hose. Your first step should be to head over to AutoZone to get the right hose replacement. To install the hose, let your car cool down and put on some gloves and goggles. Always remember to wear your safety gear when working on your vehicle. Remove the radiator's cap and place a pan under the radiator to catch any fluid. Unscrew the drain plug and let the fluid run out. Once the radiator is dry, replace the plug. Be sure to dispose of old antifreeze properly. After moving the pan beneath the radiator's hose's lower clamp, use a screwdriver to unscrew it. Be careful not to damage the radiator. After that, repeat the process on the upper part of the radiator hose and work the hose loose. Sometimes additional coolant will come out, so be ready. Install the new hose by repeating the process in reverse and then reattach everything with new clamps. Use a funnel to refill your radiator with new coolant. Make sure to use a coolant or mixture recommended by your car's manufacturer. Be careful on some vehicles that have the coolant bleeder screws up near the engine to bleed out any air that's in the system. Some vehicles have these and it's a good idea to check because if they do, you need to bleed the air out. The next steps depend greatly on what kind of vehicle you have. For some, you need to leave the cap off and start the car before replacing it. For others, the cap needs to go back on immediately. Consult your owner's manual for the proper procedure. After you replace the radiator cap, put splash guards back on and close the hood. Once you're done repairing, it's a good time to top off your engine's antifreeze tank. And remember, if you have any questions, you can always ask an AutoZone for help. For more tips, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. <laughs>